My name is Rosita Libre de Marolanda. I am 65 years of age and I am a member of SAGE. Um, I've been a member for at least seven years since my partner died. Um, and SAGE has been wonderful in terms of uh, providing support, emotional support, providing uh, social events where I can be with people and I have to be alone. Um, and where it has provided therapy for me. Um, I understand St. John's a bereavement group, but I, I got a bereavement group elsewhere, and um, that's always very helpful. Sometimes it's really challenging juggling my different identities because to me they're not different, they're all me, you know, part of me, you know, my hands or my ears, you know, they're all part of me. And um, I am really, really grateful that there, there have been the movements addressing all those parts of me. But at the same time, the movements have been separate from each other. And so sometimes I felt compartmentalized. Um, being a woman here, being a lesbian there, and then being a person of color over there. Um, and, and, and it's been painful um, because um, I'm getting what I need here, but I feel so empty about that other piece, you know, not being able to be whole in one place. And yet, that has been extremely necessary, because it's only in isolating, you know, those different um, issues, right, that, that I have faced. Uh, um, oh, another one that's coming in is uh, being an immigrant, so that's my fourth, at least. Uh, that's after being a mother and, of course, a sister and all those things, um, a family member. Oh, um, wait, wait a minute, I'm forgetting great big <laughs> um, <clears throat> identity piece, and that is that now I'm becoming an elder. And that's a totally, a wholly new piece for me. Um, uh, I'm not so sure I thrilled with it. Um, I am I am much happier that I don't have to deal with the things I dealt with as, as a teenager, as a young mother, as a, you know, my, in my middle life crisis. I'm really glad all that is over. So this is a whole new set of issues now. I think SAGE is a, a, a very worthwhile organization to support. Um, at this point they are developing a, um, the first ever National Resource Center for Elders, um, which means elders will have a lot of more access to information about what's available, about, um, uh, about programs for the aged, about uh, places that are supportive to lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender elders. If it weren't for Sage, who put the issue of age in my face, I love you. I would not have been able to embrace my age with grace.